Welcome everybody back to my channel. This is Big Number Daddy O trying to do a new project. Video number four, I think, about this tree monster that we've been working on, me and my son. Um, that's what it looks like so far. I tried an idea. I thought it was going to be hot today, and it wasn't. It's a little warm now, but um, when you put the, uh, the Maj Paj on, the uh, the form, you know, the form with the aluminum foil and the and the uh, the masking tape. It takes a while for it to dry. It's not a few hours. And uh, the video I, we were following, um, probably because it was a really small one. This is a big one. This is the big one. So I'm gonna tell you, it probably would have worked if the car was blistering hot like it's been for the last week. For today, it's just a cool day and it's. It's, it's alright. So I'm getting out of work now. Um, some of this is still pretty soft, as you can see. You can kind of push on it. Some of this is really tight. You can hear it. It hardens up really well. You now the face is very tight. Very stiff. So the Mod Podge actually works really well. But you got to let it dry all the way. Now the reason why we did the Maj Paj is because she had a um, had said in her video that it prevents from the molding, and that's a big thing because there is a lot of paper on here, and a lot of places where moisture can get trapped and and cause molding issues. So, so that's why we went with it. So so far, it's actually a very good um, idea to do to, to use the Maj Paj instead of paper mache. Now there are things you can do with paper mache that'll prevent it from molding but for this particular project I wanted strength a little bit of flexibility like the fingers are, are a little flexible you know but uh, I didn't want things to just snap off and break now paper mache has the tendency to crack and fray uh, this is a little more flexible and it looks cool um, but my theory of putting it in a hot car probably would have worked if it was the blistering hot day that it normally is so so it'll be another day or so before I can actually start painting this thing which is really gonna bump my son out because he was really excited about doing it so we're just gonna work on his alien face hugger project that he was doing and uh, hopefully that will give us some some extra time for this thing to dry so just a warning, if you're going to do a really big piece, account for the time. Don't rush through it. Do what you can. Um, you can put it in your car if it's a hot day. Um, and today is not that day. So anyway, uh, this does stiffen up really well. You can hear it. Places that are hard are really stiff. Really, and still kind of flexible. You can tell it still moves, still kind of flexible. So if you're really kind of worried about that, you could always go back over it with more and thicken up the areas. Um, I might do that, I don't know. I also noticed there were some areas I missed, like on the knuckle bone there. I missed his elbow over here. Still some tape. Yeah, right there, that whole elbow, I, I totally, completely missed. Some sections here and there. So, I'm going to fix those up, maybe use the heat gun to get it all dried up, and then we'll be on our way to paint. That's exciting. I might even use a glow-in-the-dark paint, too. So, at night, he can kind of look ghostly and kind of creepy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please give me a like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. Um, video quality will be getting better. I'm just learning all about the YouTube thing. Um, and cell phone videos can only go so far. Anyway, thank you guys. Have a great day, and God bless, and happy Halloween. Take care. Bye-bye.